All right, there is a new Resident Evil series on Netflix. Right out the gate, actually gonna warn you guys, there's some account that's commenting you folks in the comment section saying, hey, because it, it uses my profile picture, and saying, hey, you want a drawing for a free PS5? That's not me. Doing my best to try to block and report this account, but I'm pretty sure it's multiple accounts. Don't fall for the super shady, stupid things in the internet, but again, I am trying to eliminate those. All right, now let's talk about this new attempt to make a Resident Evil movie or show, actually. Don't get your hopes up, this isn't a review. I made it through exactly two episodes. Maybe I'll title this video that, I'm not sure. But the point is, here's the premise. Tell me if this sounds like Resident Evil. This dad and his two kids move into this new neighborhood and these kids go to this new school. Well, that's half the show anyway. Yes, every episode bounces back and forth between pre-apocalypse and during the zombie apocalypse 15 years later. It bounces back and forth, dividing the time among the two timelines pretty evenly, I'd say, which means you can view the show one of two ways. You can see it as a pre-zombie apocalypse show in which it has just boring generic characters. And then the show flies flashes forward to during the zombie apocalypse in which you have a generic zombie apocalypse that you've seen a hundred times over on screen. Or you can see it as a show that's a generic zombie apocalypse that you've seen a hundred times before on screen that flashes back to the pre-zombie apocalypse times in which you have generic characters <laughs> rummaging about. Neither of which really feels like Resident Evil. So that's kind of the point here. Thing is, for the world pre-zombie apocalypse, that actually could have been a cool take on the Resident Evil world. Only thing is it would hit hardest if the audience didn't know it was the Resident Evil world. Also, you have to have interesting characters and a well-written script. Let's say you have this family dynamic of this dad and his two kids and they go to this new school and they're in this new neighborhood. You don't know the name of the company that owns all of it, but in the school there's clearly some shady shit going on. And then at dad's work, there's some shady shit going on and it's linked to the school and the kids are like, who owns all of this? And it has all the compelling nature of the first season of Lost of like what's happening, but it's in a high school. And at the end of the first season, boom, you find out the name of the company is Umbrella. The show's not called Resident Evil anything. And that's the bomb that drops like, whoa, this is a Resident Evil prequel. What it reminded me of this comic book series I actually read, I think I just read the first trade, but I really enjoyed it. It was a comic book called Morning Glories. It takes takes place in high school, but it's super shady and there's some weird stuff going on. It's like Lost meets high school and you're like, what? What's happening? But you're intrigued to know what's happening. It was, it was compelling. This could have been like that with Resident Evil. But I mean, the implication there is the writing has to be good. The characters have to be interesting. I feel like that's on all of us. All of us who said, hey, Resident Evil would probably be better served as a series. Someone out there was like, Serious, let's do it, go. I'm sorry we were so vague. I'm sorry we weren't more specific. What we meant is an interesting series. Funny enough, I feel like the series might get more of a break if it wasn't called Resident Evil. If it wasn't using the Resident Evil name, it would just be a generic series that had more promise in its concept than it delivered in execution. As it stands, it's just another poor attempt at adapting what has got to be the most impossible video game property to adapt ever, which is Resident Evil. Again, maybe it all gets better. I only saw two episodes. Actually, I, I was gonna do one episode and I was like, well, I mean, one episode's not quite enough. And I'll say that, the show seems to be pretty good at ending an episode where you're like, well, I gotta see the next episode. Did she live? I mean, she just jumped three stories into zombies. I don't know how she's gonna live. Oh, well, she did. <laughs> she's okay, that's weird. Not only are the characters uninteresting, but the dialogue's atrocious. Future bad guys always going, cool. What are you, Bad Mr. Frosty from Clay Fighter? At a point, the girls are like, okay, we gotta find out what's in this facility that their dad works at. And with just a recording on their phone of him going, this is Albert Wesker, the building just goes, hello, Dr. Wesker, <laughs> here you go, full access. When we're dealing with a world where Kevin McAllister with his talk boy could get into Area 51, like, are we not dealing with a comedy? Then I was like, maybe it gets better. Let me do the cheat sheet, which I usually try not to do. Let's just see how it, wow, nobody likes this thing. This show did the impossible and that was unite the internet. Most people just hate this thing. And I totally see why. So I gotta think it's, it's not gonna get better. And in a world where there are shows and movies I haven't seen, I'm fine not watching the rest of this. I'm fine taking the hours I would have dedicated to this show and allocating it to better entertainment or listening to music or just spending time by myself, painting my Warhammer miniatures. There's so many things you can do with time. I'm good, I'm out, I'm gone because <laughs> I know where this is going. Another poor attempt at making Resident Evil. I've seen this a few times before. I'm done dealing with shit Resident Evil. I'm not even gonna ask you about the show because I'm tired of asking you what you think about bad Resident Evil adaptations. The games are great. Enjoy the games. What's your favorite Resident Evil game? That'll be the question. Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.